come towards the bunker. Uh, maybe just a bit too clean from Rory. Dig dug at the back there, still on the fringe. It's a long way out from McElroy. Just gently. The last putt he faced in this great championship was of similar length on the 18th yesterday. But this is a lot more difficult and so very fast, allowing for a good yard of break. He's very good for weight. Just outside the circle of trust from McElroy. On the first, he'll be putting up the hill for a second though. Yeah, that's well done. A steady power for Rory on the first. Looking slightly anxious at it. Why, why would you look anxious at it? That is, uh, that is what a plus. One of yours, Andrew. Uh, I, I, I took two of mine to get there, Went. That's how you do it, eh? Yeah. Well, I was kind of heading in the right direction and then thought better of it, didn't it, with six feet to go. But what a three. Kind of laying down a marker as well, the quality of the shot. Good two putts at the first, nice birdie at the second. His 18th of the week sees him at 13 under. Six miles an hour ball speed, but <laughs> sniffs an opportunity. Sublime. Needs to hit it straight out of the center of the bat. He set himself for a cut, McElroy. Perfect on the left hand side of the fairway. Just a knockdown nine, just a massage one. He's gone ever so slightly down the shaft there to help with that, Wayne. Take a touch of distance off. Six out of ten at best for that one. Ice skating quick. Tickly under there. It's looking good. It's looking good. What a way to go one more ahead from McElroy. The bend on this putt. Pretty good. You can see a little bit of a change in setup from McElroy today. He's a bit more open to the target. Yeah, it's easy to leak it yeah. right, not a lot of room right. You'll short side yourself. A little hurt now, it comes and it goes as when it's fluky. Delightful in the soft landing down to the fact that he has such great elevation on so many of his shots. So beautifully connected with his arms and body. Start of the week, they were getting a little stuck behind him at times. Now off the left, Rory on nine. He's got it. He's got it. He's putting the hammer down. 
on the end of this front nine, Roy McIlroy making a massive one on eight and following that up with another big one on nine, Andrew. Huge. Uh, three threes to finish that front nine. He likes that finish. Trying to unleash, Dom, because we've got some help in the air. Oh, there's trouble right. Although not the right portion of the fairway. This is where you want to be, just right here. This is the balls above his feet, perfect for a draw. Look out. It's the same shape as shot, but with full commitment from Rory. Oh. That's lovely. Young just looked like he wanted to sort of go towards the hole. He knew he should respect it, and it was sort of caught between shots, and he just committed to nothing there. Good aggressive run. Young back to 11 under par. McElroy makes his part. And Rory is four shots clear of the rest. Now with six holes to play on this final day. sent it deep into the trees. Game of inches, golf at times. That looks a little bit too tight to that tree for my liking. We'll see, drama. Oh, just shy in the front bunker from McElroy. That leaves a 40-yard long bunker shot. It would have been easier if he just laid up short at the green. Going to pitch this up top and hope that it comes to attention. Sit down. Had a lot of spinners there. Oh, it's difficult, Andrew. Oh. Oh, he's got a nice little holdable chip now, but whew, making 13 very difficult, McElroy. A gunning Lee, uh, close. And that's his first bogey. I make it in 38 holes here at the Emirates. A chink of light for those chasing. But he seems to live in he seems to live in that left rough. I think it's a great point, Wayne. I think he's, he knows that with his power and his length, he can easily run out of room down that right side. He's done exactly as you've said. Oh dear, there are some well wispy bushes and grass over there on the sand. That's not pretty. done well there the danger was popping it up right there. catching the trees that's an outstanding shot right at the crunch out of it he's going to make a bogey and then he can something like this down the hills downwind down grains all down and it's out of his right leaving the flag in he's a great player he's box office and he does things that not many can Well, there are lag putts, and there are lag putts. Go on, Robbie! However, that is somewhat helpful. That's an absolute peach off the 18th of McElroy.
hold the top of your glasses. Yeah, well, he'll back himself to do no worse than five there, McElroy. And that will be enough to wrap things up here. It's a sensible shot. It was a classy shot. Well, if you've got two, take them. And it is four for Rory in the desert. His love affair with Dubai continues. McElroy, the 2024 Hero Dubai Desert Classic champion. Rory, many congratulations. You've successfully defended the Hero Dubai Desert Classic and become the first man in its 35-year history to win four times. How special is this moment? Yeah, it's really cool. Um, I, you know, I didn't really think about that during the, uh, the, the course of the round. Um, you know, it was a really tricky day. It was hard to, to get it close and make a ton of birdies. And, um, you know, the pivotal point for me, I feel, came on the eighth and the ninth hole, making two threes there. Uh, that sort of set me up to, to sort of try and control it on the way in. And, um, you know, I made that one, you know, one blunder on 13 and, and made bogey there. But I felt like I steadied the ship well over the last few holes. And, um, yeah, it was it was one of those days where, you know, there, there wasn't a ton of fireworks just because the course was so difficult. But uh, I held on as best as I could. And, uh, you know, thankfully, no one around the, um, the top of the leaderboard made, a, made much of a run. Came into the weekend on three under par, ten behind the leaders. Shot 11 under par over the weekend to win this thing. Where does that rank in your greatest ever comebacks? Yeah, so I, I thought the way the golf course was trending, um, I thought two 67s would, would really have a chance. So, um, you know, obviously the, the 63 yesterday put me in a great position. But, yeah, I thought, you know, on Friday night, I thought 10 under for the weekend. I'd, you know, I'd have a really good chance to win. I shot 11 and ended up winning by one. So... Uh, play, played the game long enough now to sort of know how these things are going to go and uh, you know thankfully I played the golf I needed to uh, and just you know incredible to, to get my fourth win here at the Emirates. Two behind at the start of the day four ahead at one point with six holes to play then Adrian makes a couple of birdies you make a bogey it's very tight what's going through your mind at that stage then? I thought just steady the ship I, I knew you know I didn't birdie 10 uh, and I didn't you know I didn't even par 13 you know those are the two birdie holes on the on the at the start of the back nine so I just thought I'd steady the ship if, if I could make, um, I felt like if I could make par on 14, 15 and 16, I wasn't going to lose much ground then. Uh, and then obviously I had two chances on the last two holes, ended up didn't need to, didn't need to birdie one of them. But, um, you know, my game plan was for those last five, get through those first three and even par and then take my chances at the last two. Second and first in your first two starts of this year. What sort of platform does that give you to build towards major season, which is obviously always your major focus? Yeah, um, yeah, it's an... It's a great start to the season. Um, you know, I started well last year with the win here. Uh, I was a little more in, in dramatic fashion on the last green compared to that there. But um, it's a it's a great platform to build from. Um, I know I'm playing good golf. There's still a couple of misses off the tee left. You know, one got me on 18 um, last week. You know, I missed I missed a tee shot left on 13 today, which sort of cost me a shot, and then one on 16 as well, um, which nearly cost me a shot. I made a good par there, so. A couple of little things still to work on, but um, you know these weeks are great. You, you learn a ton from them, um, and obviously great to get the competition and, and come out on top as well. Rory, many, many congratulations. Well played. Cheers, Tim. Thank you. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.